KD Beats. KDB is fine. KDB is fine. KDB is fine. Trey D's got his chicken. Take care of y'all body. Take care of y'all chicken. Shum, 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 shum. I guess you could say it's Trey Day. Mm. Come on, Will Steele. Come on. Come on, come on, Will Steele. Come on. Come on, man. Shouts hey. out to Trayvon Diggs. Shouts out to him, man. Got his bread. Got his money. Did his thing. Didn't have to reset the market, boy. Oh, he didn't have to reset the market, Will Steele. Oh. Love Man. Love so if that was the balance that we're going for, right? We we're gonna get we're gonna get right into this, Will. So we ain't doing nothing else. We'll talk about camp and a little bit. I'm I'm Vach, by the way. B-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D. I appreciate it. We're being point guard about the best in the business. Will still what's good with you? I'm I'm great. I'm let's just get right into it, bro. We don't even need I don't need to press the buttons. I'm ready. I'm hype. So Will, maybe there was some balance that had to be had, right? You know what I mean? Cause Trey Diggs, who is still 
young in his career or whatever, right? If there was any angle that the front office was possibly going to take, they was maybe going to take him. Well, we want to see if you can do it again. You know what I mean? It's not like people look at Trey Diggs, you know, like they look at, you know, like a Pat Sertan or something. They should. Which you should. Hell yeah, you should. They should. <laughs> they should. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, just just the the general consent. Like we love Trey, but the outside noise may not always uh, you know, think that way about Trey that they should. So if there was any kind of push and pull in contract negotiation, it might have been something along those lines, right? Well, Trey, we want to see you do it again. We want to see if you can da 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 boom boom boom. But we watch film, Will still. Yeah, that's the best part about it. Me and you watch film, and we're much better than the people that hop on Twitter and say that Trey Diggs is mid or say that Trey Diggs is trash. Now, what they do on the internet will still, and when I say them, I mean like them, not like y'all in the chat. We love y'all, Swatty Cop. Welcome. They love to revolve around them, them three Trey Diggs touchdowns, right? The one versus Indy, the one versus AJ Brown, and it was like one more that doesn't even matter. We can't even remember, but they're all double moves, right? So when they say Trey is trash or Trey is mid, they always go back to those double moves that Trey was getting a little greedy on and those touchdowns that he was giving up. And that's their reasoning for Trey Diggs being mid or trash. Boy, I could I could use that argument for a couple players on this team, but go ahead. We ain't going to say nothing else. Though, <laughs> you know, I ain't going to say nothing crazy to him. Look at that. We ain't going to say nothing crazy to him. But we'll still, Cowboy Nation, everybody in the audience right now, Vach and volume side, right? When I think of Trey Diggs, I think, man, Justin Jefferson just can't. <laughs> I think Jamar Chase just couldn't get, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, besides that that double move from A.J. Brown, A.J. Brown really couldn't get, you know what I mean? <sighs> so it's 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 funny. Me and Will still was having a conversation about film because, you know, when we try to have this conversation, we present things to you, right? We present film so you can see what we see, right? And it's easy to find a Trey Diggs highlight tape for the uh for 2020 it's easy to find a trade digs highlight tape for 2021 and me and still was like vach what's up still uh it, i can't really find a a highlight <laughs> tape or a bunch of film for 2022 trade digs and i was like damn we can't we can find all the other z's and, and it just hit me they stopped throwing at them it's hard to, it's hard to find highlights on that mother because ain't no lights on that mother and later on we're going to talk about some interesting will still we're going to talk about this defense that dan quinn and the boys have have curated but trey Diggs is a very important piece of that defense and to lock him up for the foreseeable future in this future where gilmore won't be here this future mm-hmm. where Deron Bland is going to be playing on the other outside or something like that. It's good to get Trey Diggs locked up, but not only locked up, Master William Stillian. Trey Diggs is like what? It's like 19.4 or something like that. He's under the 20 million mark. He didn't have to break the market. And by the time the next four or five cornerbacks get paid, Trey Diggs is what? 19 point something, something, something. Yep. It'll be cheap. It'll be cheap. So now, in my mind, we get a dude that can shut down Justin Jefferson and the Jamar Chases of the world. We get that dude for a bargain. And the, you know, once the details come out, we're hearing shots out of John Owning. I saw this on his on his um his X extra. X, what, what do you call the account on the X app? Whatever we'll still on oh, John Twix. Owning on, on Twitter, on new Twitter on Twix. <laughs> on Twix. He says that the um that he's hearing that the deal is even more team friendly than than we even know right now. So Bro, the more details great. that we get, it is a great deal. Well, shit, talk to us, Will. So what you think about it? Th- this deal puts Trayvon Diggs. First of all, let me do this here. Let me shout out both Trayvon Diggs mm. and the front office. Mm-hmm. Okay, another hat tip to the front office. They were able to get Trayvon Diggs, like you said. Under that $20 million threshold, which $20 million still wouldn't have been the highest. They didn't have to set the market. So he stays in the top five in almost everything. He stays in the top five in total value. He stays in the top five in AVV, average value uh, per year, basically APY, whatever you want to call it. He -hmm. stays in the top five in signing bonus, but he doesn't really crack the top three. So he's not breaking the bank. And and as you see, these contracts continue to rise because this isn't running back. There might be a slight plateau at the position. Maybe mm-hmm. this could be the one where we start to see it go down. But these contracts will continue to rise. Diggs won't ever be in that top three or two for quite some time unless he goes berserk again and wants more money. So yeah. kudos, hat tip, big, big clap, whatever you want to call it, for the front office and 
for Trayvon Diggs for saying, look, I want to be here. I'm going to be here. I don't need to break the bank or set the records. I just want to be a part of this organization and get paid what I think I'm des- I deserve. And he got it. He got top five money at a position that fluctuates, right? Sometimes mm-hmm. you're you're going to be the second best corner one year. The next you might be six, five, yep. four. You're never really the best corner every single year. Those days are probably over. The, the Deion Sanders, Champ Bailey's of the world. It's not every single year. But as long as you can remain in the top ten, I feel like if you get that top five to ten value, you, it's respectable. And so shout out to them too, man. And what I think is more important, though, Will, still, is I think Diggs is going to be back to a um, throw at me type of year. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because last year, you know, you you know, just because you got one good corner, I mean, you got two or three of them, you know? And you can just play this game of find the scrub. You could totally ignore what, what Diggs would do for you, right? If you look at his game law, he had a whole bunch of passes deflected early in the season. Picks in all this, you know, kind of stuff early in the season, but then his game log just kind of goes to zero because they stopped looking at him unless they were double moving him. Well, Deron Bland is going to be a guy and he'll get five picks or whatever, right? And now we got this cornerback two problem totally fixed. So who do you throw at, Master William? Who do you throw at? At some point, you're going to make an offense go for their best guy. Right, because at the end of the day, if you the Bengals, hey, we, we need our best guy to win. If you're the Vikings, we need our best guy to win. Your best guy versus our best guy. If the ball is anywhere in that vicinity, good luck to you, right? And it just goes into this this, this making Dan Quinn's defense Teflon, right? But now we don't have to overthink it. Now we don't have to worry about, oh, well, you know, is Trey Diggs going to be around for next year? Because we because we know Gilmore is not going to be here for a long time. He's here for a good time, not a long one. So we're looking at this whole Trey thing like, man, he's a part of this future now, at least for the next four years or so. And the, the one thing about it, though, Will, you know, you know, we all, we all thought that Diggs was going to be the hard one to get done. Yes. He gets done first. First. <laughs> he gets done I, I was first. on your record yesterday saying, I think Diggs is going to be the toughest one and this could drag yeah. out. And not yeah. only did he get done first, man, but he got done and it's not breaking the, the records or anything. So that's yeah. just beautiful. So, shout out to Steven. Why do you think the... Why do you think the the dollar amount doesn't reset the whole market? Why do you think they settled on this dollar amount? If you just had to guess. I think just compromise, right? Yeah. I think it's part, you know, I want to be here. And I understand I don't need to set the market to get, oh. bro, $97 million. I mean, yeah. I don't That's need 99. It's not going to change my mind. Bars, right? 102. I mean, look, mm. they still get money. 21.25 at, at signing bonus. I think it's top three to four or something like that, but it's not number one. So yeah. he's still getting the bag. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I think it was compromised with Diggs and there was compromise with the front office. They probably wanted to come lower, but they understood. All right, look, this is about this is about as good as it's going to get. You know, how many times did they get in front of these things and they set the market? D Law, Dak Prescott, Zach Martin, Tyron Smith. You know what I'm saying? Like they've constantly set the market. And, and, and if Diggs is saying I'll compromise and not set the market, it honestly doesn't matter what he says. As long as it's underneath the market, the the, the record or whatever, you yeah. take it. You have to take it. Hey man, one day we're gonna we're gonna do a bit where it's like devil will still on this show. I already was thinking that. On this show. <laughs> I already was thinking that. Trust With me. Little sound of, I, I gotta go say I gotta say oh, right, you know, because I got the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> content keys, man. One, on. one day we'll make it happen. Yeah. Um, but also too, I think Trey Diggs understand what's at stake. You know what I mean? Trey, Trey Diggs understand what's at stake, and I'm not saying that everybody got to be team friendly. Everybody, ain't blah blah blah, boom boom boom. But Trey understands that his greatness kind of needs some Micah and CD greatness around them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we need all these guys to kind of be in this thing, you know, like, like there, there's no need to write your guys out of the market, you know? So we just going to be sitting around. We'll still, we're going to be sitting around twirling our fingers or whatever. And Pat Sertan going to get some money and JC Horn going to get some money. And uh, I almost called him Sauce Walker. That's a rapper I listen to. Sa- Sauce Gardner going to get some money and CD and not CD. Uh, Trey Diggs is just going to keep getting bumped down that, just bump down that list, man. And he's going to keep producing and he's going to keep getting better. Will still. So look, this is Trey Diggs is what? Fourth year or something like that. Yes. Yep. So he's only been playing corner for like six. He's been playing corner for six years. Will still. And he's doing this. He, he's getting yes. better as if he's one of those other rookie guys or sophomore level guys or whatever, man. I'm, I'm excited about this, man. I'm excited and about the, the um, future of this thing. Go another small 
caveat to this whole thing is that franchise tag, which I know as 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 players, it sucks. Yeah. Fans, you can keep a guy, right? And then kind of can negotiate, have longer to negotiate. So I don't I don't mind it as long as they're not abusing it. Yeah. But I often thought the franchise tag was going to be used on Trey Diggs if nothing was able to get done. Mm. Now that's free. That, that that's that's out there in the open for next year with all these other guys still coming, you know, up, you know, guys like Terrence Steele. If you have to use it on Terrence Steele or or if you want to keep around, you know, Tyler Biotis for for discounted per se price for only one seat. Like it's still there. I definitely thought, hey, look, they're going to extend Lamb, whomever, and they'll keep that franchise tag or they'll use that franchise tag for digs. No longer, man. So it's still in yeah. their pocket. So it's just a win, win, win all the way around. And we're going to need them. <clears throat> we don't need them. As I look at the Cowboys schedule, well, my phone ain't nowhere near me. That's where I keep my Cowboys <laughs> schedule. But I know it's I know it's bound to be some gangsters at you know at at you know wide receiver, whatever teams that we that we you know line up against. And, and it's just it's just gonna be it's gonna be refreshing to be able to walk in that thing going, hey, they got a number one guy. We got a number one guy. So now we get to play down that list. All right, cool. Their number two guy versus Gilmore. What that look like. Or their number three guy versus Deron Bland. What that look like? It's it's just an advantage, man. Um, let's get into this. We're uh we were here to talk about training camp anyway, and we're we're gonna just talk about that all day. But you know, Diggs news happened, so we had to uh break that for y'all. Appreciate y'all for being here. Shake my hand. Um, all off season, I've been talking about how Teflon this uh defense is is gonna be. You know how Teflon. Uh, you know how when when Dan Quinn was faced with an issue, he was faced with a problem. Let me unmute the phones there. Phone phone, phone line right there. Dan Quinn would be faced with a problem, right? And just slowly but surely, he'll just fix that problem. He'll just go to the front office because Dan Quinn is really the head coach of this team, and he'll just get that problem fixed, bro. And the training camp battles this year. They're going to be interesting because in some places there's competition and in other places, like it's so set, like y'all just going to be fighting at the bottom. Yeah. Right. And then it's like D line where <laughs> Sam Williams on the way, you know what I mean? So all y'all need to get the fuck out of the way because Sam Williams coming, you know what I mean? Um, so we're going to talk about some of these, uh, some of them are matchups. Some of them are just position groups that we're looking for. We're just looking for in training camp. Like I said yesterday, some of these uh, you will get more, uh, on pad day, you would get more in a preseason game than you would in a non-padded uh, practice or whatever. But this is just generally what I'm looking for when it comes to uh, training camp and all that. I just alluded to it. Now, we we're still we were just talking about Trey Diggs and how great him and the other corner is going to be. How much more greater will Trey Diggs be if Sam Williams really emerges as like one of them sack getters? You know what I'm saying? Now, I sound like a homer sometimes, but, you know, Fuck it, it's my shot. I do what I want to do. Let me Don DeMarco. Don DeMarco. DeMarco. <laughs> and the Cowboys almost broke the sack record. You know, it's so not almost broke the sack record, but they was like on pace to break that mother again. Then defensive adjustments happened, right? On third and eight versus Jacksonville, they'd rather hand the ball off than just throw the ball and like let us pass rush again. You know, even on sounds of the sideline, right? I think it was like Dorrance talking to Neville on the sidelines. Like, damn, boy, they scared to throw the ball against us. They was actually saying that, right? Because they were. So just imagine this world, you know what I mean, where they where they get back in their zone to where, all right, we're rushing the passer. This is what we're doing. Have we gotten better as a pass rushing team, right? D-Law is going to be around. If Mike is going to be free to rush from wherever he's going to rush or whatever, we'll see if Dorrance can continue to trend upwards or whatever. Dante Fowler is that guy. You're going to get something from Mozzie, of course, cool, boom, 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 boom. But if Sam Williams is a double-digit sack guy, Will Steele, just imagine for us. Let me, let me just talk to you for a second. If Sam Williams is a double-digit sack guy for you, his goal is 10. If it's 11, 12, 13, we, we just going to have to go to jail, right? And he's already a better run defender than Dante Fowler and Dorrance Armstrong. Will Steele, if, if, if Sam Williams is a double-digit sack guy, that's 10-plus in case people don't know what double-digit is. What does that do for your overall defense? What does that do for your defensive backfield? What does that do for Trey Diggs, who just got this new money? It may make some better. I mean, Cowboys were one of those ones last year from the sack department, right? And mm-hmm. Until the cornerback two stuff. So I'd argue Gilmore and, and, yeah. might end up, and Diggs might end up help Sam reach that. You know, because yeah. I thought Sam should have been in there last year over a couple other people getting to the quarterback. But, yeah. you know, teams, like you said, adjusted to it. So... This is kind of the perfect chicken and egg conversation. 
You know, because you say, what if what if Sam is double digit? I say, what if Stephon Gilmore stays healthy? Then it'll be easier for Sam to get double digit. And, and Diggs, obviously, right? So Stephon Gilmore did. If, if they stay healthy, the chicken and egg is, is complementary to each other. Better than any team, I think, in the National Football League. And, you know, there, there are certain matchups that we're looking for. I was talking about yesterday, like these gatekeeper matchups, right? Like if Sam goes out there and beat the shit out of Josh Ball, right? You know, that's not, you know, that's not something that we're looking forward to, right? Yeah, it's just Josh Ball. Josh beating the shit out of Josh Ball. And Josh Ball going to end up in Arizona somewhere and just whatever, whatever, right? But what if Sam gets some, some good reps versus Tyler Smith and we up here just going, mm. you know what I'm saying? What if he gets some good reps versus Tyron Smith? You know what I'm saying? And Tyron is a, is a shell of what he once was, but he's still Tyron Smith. He's still a starter in the National Football League, right? Mm. I, don't, I don't know how much reps Terrence is going to get when it comes down to a pad day and things of that nature. Well, um, you ain't see the news? Nope. Yeah, he, he's ready to go. Not on pup list or nothing. Ready. He's, on, he's, he's, he's training camp ready to go. Training camp ready to go. I don't, I don't think they're going to throw him out there today, but next week, right. I mean, you could That'd see him smart. out there. Yeah, they'll be smart that's with literally him. what they said they're going to be smart with him they'll be smart um hey so if uh so if so you know let's just say that Terrence Steele is out there with limited reps we know how Terrence Steele get down what does that look like Terrence Steele versus Sam Williams I think this is a very important training camp for Sam Williams and I just hope that Dorrance understands what's at stake here right I, this is Dorrance's career on the line right now right like if Dorrance beat Sam and he's a starter guy and Dorrance is still young and the Cowboys may not hold on to him, then there's going to be more work for Dorrance elsewhere, somewhere. I don't know. But if Sam clears Dorrance Armstrong, like, like I think he will, I think Sam can be a star for you and mm -hmm. Dorrance who will still play, but Dorrance will just be one of those 30 rep a game, 25 rep a game rotation guys. Cause like I said, you know, you, you missing some when you put Dorrance on the field as a run defender, same with, um, uh, Dante Fowler, same with him. Right. So Sam is about as balanced you can get as a right defensive end. Mm -hmm. So him on the other side of D law. <sighs> oh, I know, man. I, I, I'm with you. I think there, there is something there for Sam Williams where there's just extra oomph that you can get with him out on the field compared to Dorrance, but he got to prove it. I, I, I'll say that he got to go out there and prove it in camp or whatnot. And I think he will. Chat, what y'all, what y'all think about Mozzie Smith as a pass rusher? Chat, you know, we always hear this, uh, you know, yeah, man, Mozzie was a run defender, bit, 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 but we drafted him because of the upside as a pass rusher, right? What if that really comes to light what is what if that comes true what if that's not a riddle what if that's no longer a what if because if if was a fifth we'd be drunk in a mug and i'd go to jail right so as far as my confidence level of mozzie smith the run defender i know mozzie smith is a run defender i seen the film i got the film the film is on the channel go find it. it's on my twitter page. it's on fucking will still channel go find it. there's so much film of Mozzie Smith, the run defender, to where I ain't really got to question Mozzie Smith, the run defender. I'm sure you could throw Mozzie in and he'll do a better job than what a Neville Gallimore, you know, would do. We had this conversation about Neville Gallimore in a second. Um, but Mozzie the pass rusher, though. I'm interested to see what Mozzie the pass rusher looks like. And we talk about gatekeepers. Zach Martin sitting out. Cool. Zach Martin to be ready, right? But if you want to go down the line, and I don't know why I keep making these examples like Josh Ball ain't about to do shit at camp. <sighs> but Josh Ball probably ain't about to do shit at camp. So if Mozzie Smith like beat the shit out of Josh Ball, right? All right, cool. That means nothing. Let's see what Mozzie Smith looked like versus Foreign Yak. And then, and then he started whooping Foreign Yak. And then we go, hmm. And then they put Mozzie versus Tyler Smith at guard wheel still. And, and that's going to be the video that's going to get all us the goddamn views, boy. That's going to be the one. <laughs> Well, still, huh? shouts out to all my Dallas Cowboy media friends that like to get videos on the sideline and tweet them out. I know y'all ready for the Brandon Cooks videos. Y'all ready for the CD Lamb videos, and that's cute. The one on ones is fun though, with the offensive line and, and defense line. <sighs> see, 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 they don't see it like I see it, right? Yeah. When I see them putting out these miscellaneous, oh, uh, TJ Vasher caught a pass today. I don't care. Nothing about TJ Vasher versus Kelvin Joe. Boy, we talked about that for a long time, didn't we? We were still TJ Vasher versus Kelvin Joe. Boy, look at this camp battle. Meanwhile, I'm like, yo, man. Yeah. 
Where the 300 pound people at? Where them at? So y'all can tweet, y'all can tweet about that all you want to. Vach is looking for Mozzie versus Tyler. I want to see what those two gentlemen look like. I'm talking about some gentlemen. Shouts out to two eye. Those two cheering, those two characters look like. That's what I want to see. Thanos versus Incredible Hulk. That is right there. Thanos beat the shit out of us. No, 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 no. <laughs> I said Incredible Hulk. Incredible. Okay, I, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not this new smart ass hawk that's scared. No, we scared to come out. <laughs> he said, "I need you." Hulk said, I mean, you no. the, like, who, like we looking at you. You the hawk. <laughs> like you do something. Help me. Going, if, look, if Hulk no. going no, if Hulk going not no, here. we don't stand a chance. <laughs> There's nothing we can do if Hulk. Well, I guess I get the hawk buster. Then, like, come on, man. He gonna I'm, get in the machine. I'm talking about abomination versus incredible hawk, hawk. No, Hulk got in the machine that's his size. <laughs> All you got, just be Hulk. If you're gonna get, if you're gonna get in the machine this size, just be you. And they put the glasses on him. And, and I understand that's in the, in the comics and everything, but no, that's not the Hulk I'm talking about. The Hulk can jump on top of a skyscraper. The damn, the damn shit could barely walk. <laughs> the damn machine. We ain't doing this. Yeah. Um, but Tyler Smith at guard versus Mozzie Smith. I would love to know what it looks like. If Tyler clears Mozzie, then I right, cool. All right. You know, Tyler's a savage and Mozzie got some ways to go. If Mozzie get the best of them a few times, hey, that's these gatekeeper matchups that we're just talking about, right? So we'll cross that road whenever we get there. We'll still just pause. As of 725 on this miscellaneous Tuesday, we got a thousand people watching. There's no reason. Coming off vacation or whatever. Oh, wow. I ain't even peep. I appreciate y'all for being here. <clears throat> salute, salute. Uh, <laughs> Let me just do this, Will Still. We content kings. So Neville Galmore, uh, chat. What team do y'all think Neville Galmore gonna be uh, playing for next year if he don't get his shit together? You think, you think he gonna get mad and go to the Eagles because the Eagles will cut him? I mean, they got dudes in that room. Watch the football. Where's the? They'll just cut him. He they he can't go over there. Chat. Who y'all think? Who y'all think Neville end up playing for if he don't get his shit together? The Patriots. Okay. Jay Lombardi said the CFL. He's from Canada, so that makes that racist. Texans. Probably Texas. He ain't got to move around too far. Sure. I see Giants. I see Titans. Sure. He going to follow uh, old boy. He over there right now doing, getting paid. What's his name? Uh, Carlos? Nah, 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 nah. He, uh, I'm surprised he got paid too. Collins. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Malik uh, Malik Collins. Yeah. yeah. So, and and, and he, was supposed to be, he, was, he was supposed to be better Malik Collins. Somebody say Jets. Ain't no room for him that the Jets. The Jets got dudes. Chiefs would probably take him. Look, we'll see a cool hand loose says Pelican Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Shoe program. Hey, man. Shouts out to Neville Gallimore. We don't have a problem with Neville Gallimore. And part of this is not his fault, right? No. Neville Gallimore coming out of Oklahoma was a three-tech bodied upfield rusher. Oklahoma played him at four eye. Sometimes at, you know, Two tech, sometimes at zero where he shouldn't be. And they'll do a bunch of gap exchanges. Never, never really got settled. He got to Dallas to play three tech. All right, cool. But he never really got settled. Osa shows up. So they say, hey, Neville, we need you to show up, you know, heavier. Never get big than a mug, break his elbow. Never get settled at one tech. We're going to get some one tech help. Bohanna beats him. Just out of nowhere, just Bohanna beats him, right? All right, Neville, you can go back to three tech now. Neville is in a one tech body playing three tech now. It ain't never fall. He never really got settled. But dog, we can't baby you here. His film was bad last year, though. Yeah, it's terrible. And look, we was watching um on the uh, Patreon, patreon.com slash Vosh Lombardi. We was watching the Washington game in week 18. Just, just re-watching because I was so pissed off that I just barely remember it. And Neville had a lot of opportunities in that game, right? Hankins was hurt. You know, some other guys didn't even play. And that was a game that Chauncey Golston emerged. I said Golston no. said, nah, nah. Chauncey Golston going crazy. Yeah. 11 tackles. And Neville Gallimore just walking around like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So maybe in some other room, Neville Gallimore could probably do something. But in this room where there's Hankins, where there's Bo Hanna, who's already beat you, and if Bohan is healthy, it's looking, it might look bad for you again. Hold, hold up. Sanjay? I will take that bet. What happened? He Ooh, said Sanjay. Gallimore will beat Chauncey. I bet a hundred on it. He says Neville Gallimore will, will, will beat Chauncey Golston? Yeah. Who said that? Sanjay. 
Hey, son, Jay, you need my cash app, Playboy? You want to do this? You want to shake my hand? You want to do a stunt? You want to pinky back? What you want to do, my guy? Yo. Shoot, man. Look, I take that bit. <laughs> Ghostin has the versatility aspect, man, where Neville has zero. I'll take that. Sanjay says Neville was injured. When? He was playing last year. He was hurt. <laughs> Neville, he was, Neville was healthy scratch. He was in active in the mother game. He was fine. He was, he was good. Sit down, man. No, no, no. Sanjay, look, you, if you would like to make this bet, we can do it. And I don't really know you. You were strange. And I don't even know if you even send my money like that. But, dog, Chauncey's surging. Chauncey's going this way. Osa's going this way. Mozzie's going this way. Neville's going straight down. He's not even descending slowly. He's crashing, sir. And then we got um, Jonathan Hankins in training camp. So week one, Jonathan Hankins, not just found him after bye week. Week one, Jonathan Hankins. Neville got to climb. He's Yeah, he's got to. He's got to go off, man. Then Put how about this, Will Still? Okay. Then there's the idea that it's not even about who's better. Sometimes it's about fit, contract, and young dudes like projection, right? So Junior Fajoko, right? Man, when we was listening to the draft coverage on .com and we was listening to Coach Floyd, Coach Sharif Floyd talk, he wasn't talking as if Junior Fajoko was just some about to do, just some dude they about to red shirt. Just some dude that they just about to do nothing with. They say we got a plan for Junior Fajoko, and he's playing tackle. So Neville, <laughs> you even if you feel like you're better than Junior Fajoko, Fajoko's the young guy. You're the year four guy. In contract, like you said, this is Neville's last year technically. Yeah. Where, where Chauncey has another two seasons, this one and next year. Uh, yeah, man. And, and even if Neville plays well enough to stay on the team, that shouldn't come at Chauncey Ghost's expense unless he's absolutely terrible. And and Chauncey's never been. Terrible. He's he's always just been, hey man, we got a lot of guys in this room and you're a versatile cat. So how about this though, Sanjay? Chauncey got a job, right? Just like Hank has got a job, Osa got a job, like a like a very specific detailed job. Bohanna got a specific detailed job. What's Neville's job? That's what, what I was saying. What position is Neville gonna play, Sanjay? I, I don't think he's better than a handful of people at either, whether it be one or three. Right. So he's, he's got a, a look. I would love for him to make this team. Cause that means that he played well, but, but right sure. now Neville's the one with the hottest seat in the room. Right. Mm -hmm. huh. and he's just floating around. Right. Neville just floating, trying to find like, just like you said, right. It's ones and three texts that do things better than him. We don't even know if Neville is a one or a three tech. He just floating around doing, just doing whatever, doing, just doing anything. That ain't good, man. That ain't good. So Neville, like I said, if you prove us wrong, that's good if for you, the Cowboys. If you, that's good for the Cowboys. We just got room. Like if, if you if you do so well that we have to do something with Bo or something like that. Oh goodness, that's great for us. It's great for us. But it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna take a nuclear missile to do that. Shout out to Oppenheimer. It's gonna take a a Manhattan Project nuclear missile for you to do that, Neville Gallimore. Mm -hmm. But that's what training camp is for. Okay. Uh. Let's see. We're going to talk about two more players. And then we're going to get into the phone. So please get in on the phone and don't get mad because we ain't let you on the phone. Uh, what the number is? Uh, 202-926-1127. Access code 309 I want to see Damone Clark will still. I think Damone Clark is interesting, right? We've been talking about these, about these glue players, right? You know, Deron Bland may not be the superstar of the group, uh, you know, Megan have him, you know, he didn't get the new contract that Diggs got or whatever, but but Deron Bland is a, is a glue that makes this uh, DB room kind of work a little bit, right? They just can't pick on slot guy because he'll get five picks if you, if, you, if you try to, you know? Sam Williams is another glue type guy. All right, well, cool. If Sam's going to be the surging right defensive end, then just put Micah anywhere, right? Linebacker is not really a position that we feel the best about, right? right? Van Der Esch exists. Clark exists. Both of those dudes happen to be neck slash back guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you, you just got a bunch of young dudes behind that. In contrast to the DB room, right? DB room, everybody got their own thing that they doing, right? It may be nine DBs. They all got a roll. Ten DBs deep. They all got a roll. Linebacker 
if Devin Harper shows up, then he'll be a guy playing. If Overshone shows up, he's a guy playing. If Malik Jefferson shows up, he's a guy playing. So this linebacker conversation really is really going to be thick. This linebacker room is is is, is they're going to be fighting for their lives here. You know, Brillo, Brillo is on never got more watch, right? But Damone Clark is a guy um, who was hurting last year. And he wasn't a camp guy. We would see him on the on the sideline. We'll see. We'll, we'll go. Hey, Demon Clark, big as hell, kind of. <laughs> I didn't he's, think he was he's happy. bigger than you. He's six three, I think. Goes about two forty, close to two forty. Yeah, but he moves. He looks huge. But he, he moves. looks huge, and he, and he and he moves really well, right? So he came in, and last year, you know, my forecast on him, right? Just watching film on Demon Clark was a guy that had the athleticism, but the the. The nuance wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? The reading wasn't there. The scanning the field, the reading the keys and all those types of things, right? Where to be in coverage, right? When Van Der Esch was there to be like, hey, look out for counter, it was easy for Demon Clark to go counter. Uh, when Van Der Esch wasn't there, Demon Clark would look lost, you know? Maybe maybe that means Anthony Barr is not that helpful. But we talk about, is this group better than what last year's group would be? Okay, well, let's just say Van Der Esch is a watch, right? If Clark is better than himself last year and better than Anthony Barr, then the linebacker group gets better, right? So basically, if you're Damone Clark, you have a chance to be like concrete, full-blown starter, and you got to fight these young dudes off. Like Overshone got drafted. He's somebody that everybody's excited about. And they love Clark too, but they're excited about Overshone, right? Don't lose your job to Harper. Don't lose your job to Overshone. Don't lose your job to Brillo and Jefferson and those guys, right? If Damon Clark steps up and he really surges and he cements himself as I'm starting linebacker of this group, I think that could be even better for this defense. We'll say because because look when we when we talk about defense, we go man our pass rush our D line, boy our our DBs our corners, but you know linebackers that one spot that we always you know. I view, the, I view the depth as the question. Let me ask you a question: Is this the Are you saying Demon Clark's in a fight with those guys? I'm not saying that he's in a fight with those guys, uh-huh. but I'm saying that I don't look at linebacker as concrete as corner, right? Depth. I think Damone Clark is going to be the guy. I think he's going to be the guy, but if he steps back a little bit, them dudes right there is what I'm saying. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, if a second year player is taking a step back, that's, that's scary, right? Is that- you, know, you know, there's, there's that sec, there's that second year jump that most of these good players and I, and I view him mm-hmm. in that, in that manner. I think Damone Clark is, one of your young ascending players as opposed to the opposite. We got to remember, Damone Clark, like you said, was on the sideline during sure. minicamp, during training camp, during rookie minicamp. He did not come into week eight against Chicago, had no practice reps, essentially, mm-hmm. didn't get a chance, all mental reps, came in, and I thought grading on the scale held his own. Had the lowest ta- missed tackle percentage on the team, showed the versatility uh, sure. in coverage and coming downhill, had a couple forced fumbles. There's a lot to like about Damone Clark that I honestly feel – Fine about him supplanting himself as the guy. My question is, can he supplant himself as the future Mike? Because I don't believe LVE is that guy. I think, you know, there's a possibility this could be LVE's last year or next year. So can he, can he say, hey, we don't need to go draft a Mike. That's our dude. Behind LVE and Damone Clark, that's where the questions get a little bit scary for me. So we might just 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 disagree a, a tad bit here because I think Damone has a lot to prove, right? Because when I when I think about Damone, I don't think of him in the same group as I think of Sam Williams and like Deron Bland. When I when I think of Sam Williams, Deron Bland is like, hey, we're these young dudes in here about to tear some shit up. That's that's how I think of these guys. I think of Clark like, all right. Let's see what your second year is gonna 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 be like, Demon Clark. How much better can you be second year, Demon Clark? You understand what I'm saying? So I just I just I just think of these group of guys being like Bland and Williams. I think of them different than Clark. I still that's, think Clark got a lot to fight for. That's fair because you know Sam is Sam honestly had his very similar years, Demon. But we we're more excited because Sack guy honestly. Mm-hmm. Sam Williams struggled early on and then came on. But we, so we were excited about him, you know, coming on and, and getting those sacks and making the big splashy plays. But sure. we were talking about Sam Williams. Hey, man, you see him getting fooled early in the season and mm-hmm. he had to learn and whatnot. And he wasn't getting a lot of playing time where, again, Damone Clark, I think if you're looking at it from a grading on a scale of him not being available until week eight, sure. there's a lot to like about him. But it's fair because Deron Blaine has five interceptions. He yeah, played a whole lot. Sam yeah. played a whole lot where Damone came in halfway through the year and it's like, all right, I got a half a year, but 
there is more I need to see. So that's that's fair. I'm not going to dispute that. No, sure. I feel you on that. And um, you know, I don't foresee um Cox Harper uh, you know Jefferson. I don't I don't see those guys taking Clark's spot or anything like that. I just want to see it from Clark. And that's why he's a, I'm watching him for a training camp guy. I want to see what he, what he looks like. I want to see how good he is. I want to see. Him move around. Yeah. yeah that's what sucks game. about linebackers and, and running backs is you can't tell much of it except for coverage. Yep. Coverage. That's about it. Well, so look, think about it like this. Damone Clark's deficiency is seeing it. Right. So we can watch him in shorts. If he's looking lost in shorts, then we're gonna have to come on, come on camera, have an uncomfortable conversation. You know what I'm saying? But if he's getting to the ball, if he's running around to the ball, he's get he's he's making, you know, making quick reads and he's not getting, you know, misdirected and things like that. I think we can see that. But in terms of um what we really, you know, know about him, you're 100 percent correct. We're we're gonna have to wait uh till the uh pass come on. We're gonna I wanna see him chase around Deuce and chase his little ass, see if he can grab him. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be, uh, that's going to be fun. But that's why DeMond Clark is a, is a uh, guy that we're looking for. And, um, lastly, y'all call in now. Cause it's lastly, lastly, um, Kelvin Joseph, right now, Kelvin Joseph is a dude with talent that just hadn't put it together. And Kelvin Joseph is a dude on kicking teams. That's, that's putting it all together. But boy, we just keep on marching. And it's the same thing that I'm saying about Neville Galmore, right? And then the other situation, we don't know what these dudes will look like, but we can't stop marching for you. We can't stop moving forward for you. So Kelvin Joseph is a second round pick. You would love for your second round pick to be a dude. You would love for your second round pick to make it. But boy, like Deron Bland, fifth, sixth, uh, sixth round pick, fifth. The fifth round pick is leaving you. Leaving you. You know what I'm saying? So they got Kelvin at slot now or at nickel. We'll see what that looks like. I've heard, you know, you know, we 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 heard the rumblings about Kelvin Joseph playing some safety or something. We don't know if that's just an OT, you know, just a oh yeah. well, we need bodies here or whatever. So put him at safety. He, he was doing safety drills, but we come Drill. to find out that they put the nickel corners in safety drills because they asked them to do kind of close to line of scrimmage things. So it it's sense. more nickel. It's yeah. position that's changed to nickel. So if Kelvin's doing anything, he's fighting for, all right, if something happens to an outside guy and Bland got to go outside, Kelvin's fighting for, all right, just put me in nickel. Kelvin's Kelvin's fighting for that, right? Uh, you know, and just like with with Neville, if Kelvin can step out and 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 have a nuclear camp and be who we thought he was gonna be, who at least Vach, I will, I will, I will, I will, I'll wear that one. If uh Kelvin ends up who we think who, who Vach thought he was gonna be, then hey, that's a good problem to have. But boy. If it don't happen this year, if it don't happen this year, Kelvin going to be in down. Kelvin going to be in Cincinnati somewhere, boy, just holding water. Kelvin I wouldn't carry him on the roster if it doesn't happen in camp. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. Listen, so do you think that Kelvin, a someone like CJ Goodwin is a guy that they, that they thinking about, you know, whatever, whatever. Do you, do you, do you think that they hold Kelvin to be like that? that punt gunner guy, you know what I'm saying? Do you just think that they hold on to him for his team's value? Or do you just, Hey, we're just going to cut ties with you. A second round pick that just didn't work out. We're going to find another punt gunner. I think they'd keep CJ Goodwin over Kelvin Joseph. Yeah. If it came to, all right, punt, punt gunner per punt gunner. CJ is one of the best in the national football league. Um, he, he's got a rapport with uh, John Fossil. I mean, they are tight, tight. I spoke to CJ a couple years ago when he got his contract, they are tight, tight. And I don't really see him going. I actually think the league should probably designate a position for that guy because most teams have that guy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so if Kelvin shows nothing from a cornerback position, it's not like this is an amazing guy. You know, I mean, he has his question marks off the field and whatnot, mm -hmm. whereas CJ is just top to bottom a professional. So, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't see him keeping him over CJ Goodwin. Kelvin Joseph had a rap video came out recently. I was like... <sighs> You ain't even good enough for this. <laughs> hey, look, I hope he got it out of the system, right? Like sometimes you need a, you need a, a place to creatively. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, you got a hobby, right? So he got his little hobby. He did what he did. Now it's time to focus and let's let's get going. But this is the problem, though. Like if if he was an opera singer, we'd be like, boy, look at this creative Justin Tucker. <laughs> Look at this creative outlet. Like if he was just a traveling guitar player playing country music, we'll go, boy, look at Kelvin or, Joseph. Or, or if the shit was good. If the shit was good. No, it wasn't good. 
<laughs> but he's sliding on ops. Bye. Look, reason why people let let little little uh, Beasley go because number one, Beasley was nice on the field. Number yeah. two, he also had bars. Yeah, oh. yeah. I mean, but if he was whack, we would slay him. Yeah, if, if he was whack, if, yeah, if, if he was whack, it'd be. But he had, but he was nice. Was this cool. Kelvin, Kelvin Joseph, man, he got the little, the high pitch, John. I don't do nothing. I'm a boss. So yeah. Y'all, the monkeys. You don't turn that down. <laughs> Boy, if you don't grow up, cut that goddamn auto tune now. Get that damn auto tune out of here, dog. That mumbo jumbo. It, sound, it, it, sound, it sounds like he's whining. It, yeah. it, 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 he sounds like a whining R&B singer, bro. Like, cut it out, Kelvin. Hi. Let's get into the phones, y'all. We'll, we'll still thank thank you so much for your analysis today, man, and everything. Yeah. Your to the table and all that. Damn. Come on, man. Got to be here for you, bro. Appreciate you, dog. Mr. Hello. Oh, who on the phone? I mean, Hello? I'd have much rather him do something like that. I'd rather him sing. I'd rather him sing by some girl that's, that's, that's ghosting him or something. Like, come on, son. All right, let's get let's get to the phones, man. We got some callers, and uh, when we're when we hang up from the first caller, we're gonna lock the phone. So y'all still got at least three minutes to get in here. Uh, I saw uh, B Bird in here earlier. I saw you know some other characters that was in here earlier that that hung up. Go ahead and call back in. You could talk about uh, what you're looking for in training camp coming up, offensively, defensively. You can uh, talk about the Trey Diggs deal and what that means to you. You can call me and Will Steel Goofy. You can um, say Neville Gallimore is gonna be a Pro Bowl this year. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do what we do. All right, uh, let's get into it. Let's start with, uh, uh, I think my man Dan was here first. P. Figgers, what up? Hey, what's up, Botch? Uh, first of all, welcome back from vacation. It's Appreciate been a while. you. Um, I know we're all excited. And as soon as I saw this news about Trayvon Diggs, man, yeah. I called in immediately. And I started writing notes down because, to me, the complete offseason would have included a big hometown signing just like this. And I thought it was going to be more than that. For Trayvon Diggs, right? Um, that 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 cornerback market's uh, on the opposite spectrum of the running back market right now, and it's only gonna mm-hmm. get trickier. Um, but man, for me, I gotta say, it begs the question because we all know these de- defensive players love Dan Quinn. Because mm-hmm. if you talk about the Cowboys having the best defense, you have to include Dan Quinn in there. Sure. And I'm thinking about next year, and I want to know, or I rather, I think, does Dan Quinn really want? a head coaching job as soon as the next year. And I know it's a possibility. So if so, I'm also wondering, like, um, how would the defense potentially maintain the the proficiency with schemes that they have with Dan Quinn? I'm thinking maybe Micah, because he's clearly smart. But but uh, in, anyways, Bosh, the primarily Trayvon Diggs being here for five years. years is a huge step up. Sure. And uh, – I don't really have much else besides that. I'm I'm hype, man. So so listen, you you are asking, um, how is the defense going to be as productive this year as it was last year? Oh uh, no, I was uh, talking about in the future after this coming season. So next season. Oh hey man, one uh, one at a time, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo yo, let me tell you something. One yo, yo listen. We still had a fantastic point. Like you say, look, we can win the Super Bowl tomorrow. We're not gonna give a fuck about who get cut. We don't care about money. We don't care about who stays. It, it, you know, so we got. We're gonna worry about it after, dog. We're gonna talk in February. You know what I mean? So we on this run. We'll talk about what position Bland gonna play later, dog. It don't even matter. Appreciate your P yeah, flag. It's good call, brother. I right, appreciate it. <laughs> Good hey, call. Let you know. What's up? Jay said, Kelvin Joseph video just dropped. Nah, I picked that <laughs> back up. <laughs> <laughs> Look, wait, hey, 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 not not drop that shit. <laughs> not, not, not drop that shit, but pick that shit. <laughs> pick that shit back up, dog. Dog, Will still. Let me tell you something. The funniest thing on the internet, right? Um, Ice Spice video, like her very first video when she when she first came out the Much video, terrible song by the way, right? But when you when you go in the comments of that video, it's people competing for who got the most hating on this song, <laughs> right? Like, oh, we gonna going going back to the hood in this one. 
Like never, like never leave in poverty with this one, boy. I love, this I love those comment sections. They're the best. They're the best. Putting me right back to sleep on this, one. like like shit like that. Incredible. If y'all want a good laugh, go go to the World Star Munch, uh, video, and you know, make sure you ain't got kids around. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> let's get uh, because <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Cause well, <laughs> your mama sure does care about your sports. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get Don on the phone and see what he's talking about. What up, Don? Don Juan, Don. What the guy do? What's up? Don? Don the Monko, Monko, Monko. Okay, we're going to mute Don and come back to him. Don, okay. Don, take care of his Let's get uh, DP on the phone. What up, DP? Rocky, what's happening with you? What's good, my guy? What you got for us? Oh man, I I called Will earlier, so I said no, it wouldn't be wrong. it wouldn't be right if I didn't get Vacha call too. Loyal. Uh, yes sir, yes sir. Well, I told I, I, me and Will was talking about it. Uh, was, was talking about Izzy earlier and and and, and uh and Jay Lou's value to the defense. Uh, I, I I told I told Will that I'd honestly be cool if they put Jay Lou on pup. We're going to mm-hmm. let these uh, these young pups develop, and we just have him in our back pocket for the first month, you know? Hell yeah. Um, but uh, Let me tell you why I love that, though, I, I, right? I really, right? Because we're, we're not because we're not, we're not team building. We're trying to win a championship. So you need, as yeah. many, you, need as, you need as many good players as you could possibly have. So if Lewis ain't costing you a roster spot, you can hold that motherfucker to the end of the season if you want to. Just hold on to him. Just hey, just have him in the tuck or whatever. And if any emergency type shit happen, you will just have Jordan Lewis coming off the bench. Hey, you know what I'm saying? We would not be the first team to 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 all of a sudden insert a veteran. You know what I mean? Onto the defense for right. a playoff run. You know what I mean? Why not? Right. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. That's real shit. Yeah. You know. Uh, I, I I really am excited about the defensive tackle group. Uh, you know, me and Will had about a ten minute conversation today. I didn't even bring up the defensive ends. I think that's kinda awesome. Uh this defense is, is looking real stacked. Uh, I, I wanna know what you think though about the possibility of uh of Sam hitting his goal this year. Of ten sacks? Yeah. Well, shit, this this might be the best covering Cowboys team that we've seen. Like like look at your look at your D B group, you know? So you know, mm-hmm. th- there's a lot of ways to get sex. You know what I mean? You know, you can, yeah, you can, yeah. you can bully your way into sex. You can, uh, cover sex your way into sex. You can effort your way into. Sex. It's gonna be a lot of opportunities there. Mm-hmm. Plus, if your offense is more efficient, right? Think about how many times last mm-hmm. year, you know, we would blow a team out or something like that, right? But that blowout will mm-hmm. only happen at the end of the game, right? Think about the, the Colts game or something, right? Like that blowout happened at the end of the game. If this offense is simply efficient, it ain't even got to be explosive. Just simply efficient, and it will be explosive. But how many leads will we have, right? Just, just think about slowly but surely surgically gaining leads in these games. So if we're playing from ahead, you can run the ball if you want to. But at some point, mm-hmm. we're going to be up by a certain amount of possessions. You're gonna have to throw, and we just get to rush for the rest of the game, and that's and that's yeah. what, and that's where you're gonna rack up on your sacks at, you know. So assuming that Sam gets um his play time, assuming that the coverage is what we think is gonna be, assuming that the offense is is gonna be ahead in these games like we think it's gonna be, there's no reason why all these pass rushers uh can't have um um a uh, big um sack years. Go ahead, Wilson. What which makes what the defense did in the first six or seven games of the season impressive right where you had you know week one it was a terrible offensive performance then you had cooper (laughs) you had cooper rush Rush for the next four or five games your offense could barely get into the red zone you didn't have these monstrous leads but your defense was getting to the quarterback like none other so now just imagine you had Dak come back so you were working through those communication things and you started to score but you were turning the ball over and things like that so they, they it was hardly a chance consistently throughout the year where they were just playing with these big leads all game or something like that. Now you had a couple games where that happened Jacksonville, but that's when the cornerback two stuff got exposed. Uh, Green Bay got a same thing, got exposed, but man, you, you wanted something right there, Vosh. If, if our injury 
You just got an efficient offense. We saw what this defense was able to do with a non-efficient offense for the first half of the season. Right. Scary business. Scary. DP, yeah. fantastic call, like man. Uh, uh, go, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was, just, yeah, I, I just wanted to add. And I mean, in my opinion, the biggest threat to Sam not getting ten sacks is honestly is on defense. Like if if Hankins and Mozzie and them can hold the middle down and, and force teams into passing situations, like me, like we was talking about earlier, Will, if we can tell uh, tell a motherfucker, bitch, I wish you would run, then then yeah, that everybody can come. But Dorrington had like two back to back career seasons. Don't nobody even talk about him. You said who? Who did? Yeah, Dorn. Armstrong, yeah, yeah, Dorrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he 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 keep getting better. Yeah, he's improving. And Dorrance, hey, look, and this is what the beauty of competition is. is you know, can, if Dorrance wants his spot, he's gonna have to continue to improve. You're gonna have to continue to go crazy. Like, mm-hmm. like, like both guys are gonna rotate, both guys are gonna play, but there's some associated with this my spot. You know what I'm saying? So if Dorrance wants his spot, yeah, he's gonna have to go a little crazy, man. I like it though. We got competition everywhere. I'm gonna yep. let y'all go. Yep. Appreciate you, DP. Good call, man. Good call. Yeah, man, I, lo- I love having DA on a one year deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, man, that's the that's the that's the one thing that we just gotta stay focused on and always remember it, bro. Like if this offense does its job, we're gonna be running the ball to end games, like just running time out, and the other team gonna have to throw to catch up in. Boy, if we could just get, if we can get used to just scoring early, we can get on that train, just scoring early. And if we cause a three and out and we score again, man, like, bro, like, come on, man. You know, people call me a homer already. Alex, Alex said in the chat box, all Vosh does is talk about the positive shit. I mean, why not? I mean, why not? Whatever, though. Let's get, uh, (laughs) Don, what's happening? Hello? Oh, what's up with you? <laughs> hey. Oh, not much, man. Just driving. Um, I have a question. Um, now that uh, Trayvon Diggs is taken care of, yes, sir. who do you think will be next? Well, you can save money with Zach and Dak, so maybe one of them. Maybe one of them, but they can really sign any one of these guys whenever they're ready to. Like they can sign Lamb right now if they want to. Um, so who do I think? I mean, who who's who will probably be easiest to get yeah. done? Who, I who mean, do you think will be the next one. I mean, Dak and his people probably gonna probably gonna be assholes, but so like you know, Zach, like like Zach Zach it feels like Zach's Zach. Become easy, yeah. You know, Zach Zach's contract could be a little easy. Terrence, Terrence could be Ter- they, Terrence. They, was, they were talking about Terrence water. last week. Yeah, Terrence, Terrence, Terrence would be less money. Um, Beatrice would be a shocker. That would be a they're, shocker. Yeah. They're probably gonna wait to the last minute on Beatrice, boy. They're gonna play all them. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna play all them years after him. Um, like you know, Diggs and 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 like these these guys are getting paid early because they are great play. Like we only talk about like Mike only played two years though, <laughs> but, but Mike is eligible soon, so he's gonna want his money soon. Um, but the rest of these guys like Tyler Beatrice, man, we're gonna wait till the very end of his shit. And then we're gonna um, talk about paying him or whatever. But yeah, Terrence Steele might be next because he may be a little cheaper. Um, Zach will be next because he's established already. And Jerry might... says Zach's in the plans, so Zach's probably next. There you go. Zach's probably next. So, do you think if they get all these like, like maybe another two to three contracts done, you think all it could be? Uh, you think they would uh, franchise tag him again? I think they're gonna wait till the that's end good. of the season. Wait till the yeah, that's. We'll see you next year. That's one to one. Yeah. We will see you next year. You know, there was a report that 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 said, uh, you know, the 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 uh, you know, Pollard's people and the Joneses met and see if they can make a make an extension happen. But you know, the money wasn't together. I, I don't even know how serious that 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 conversation was. Steven said it. Steven said we Steven we, said. we we you know we gave him an offer and just like negotiations, he wanted more. We wanted to pay less, and it didn't work out. But I think the tag actually worked out for Tony. Boy, Steve offered that boy thirty eight dollars. Boy, probably did, <laughs> probably did boy, for sure. Offered that boy thirty eight dollars. What else you got done? Um, what all do you expect out of Deron Bland? And if we were to cut like a Nation Wright or a Kelvin Joseph, could mm-hmm. we stash him on the practice squad? No, 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 no. Um, Kelvin, Kelvin will definitely get taken from you. Um, Nation, I don't know. Nation probably. I mean, look, knowing our luck, man, Nation probably go to fucking um, 
Buffalo or something and be a number one corner over there or something and, and be great knowing our luck with young corners and shit. Um, yeah. But Deron Bland, it's 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 so funny saying this, but Deron Bland is the weak point in your secondary. Technically. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it, it sounds crazy. Will still, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Will, you, like you feel me? Deron Bland is the weak part of your secondary. All right, try it. You know what I'm saying, I don't like, reg- <laughs> I, reg- I, you, I, and look, I ain't saying it's safe out here. I ain't saying it's sweet, but you know what I'm saying. So, but I, Gilmore could help elevate him, don't you think? That mother got it, five picks last yeah. year. Who's up here? He's fine. Yeah, fine. It'll, it'll funnel targets his way, and, and you know, Gil- Gilmore being there will absolutely help him, just because he's a he's one of them ones at the position, right? You yeah. know, Super Bowl champion, defense player of the year, trending as a Hall of Famer. If you look at his resume, low key. All pro, pro bowls, all that good stuff. And he's still playing as a top 10 level. So, yeah, it should help Deron Bland. So, if anything, yeah, they I, may... I appreciate it. Please, go ahead. Um, My last question. Uh, do you think... Uh, do you think Dan Quinn will go elsewhere next year? Do you think Jerry Jones will try to do everything he can to obtain him again? Or i tell you what. Or let Nick McCarthy go hiking? I tell you what, if we win the Super Bowl and Dan Quinn want to go to Denver, I'll shake his hand on the way out. If he want to go to Carolina, so he can go wherever he want to go if, if, if we win the Super Bowl. Uh, if it don't work out the way we think it's going to go, I would love to have Dan as my head coach, but that is a February conversation. Right now he's here. Okay. So, so, you know, that's the conversation we're going to have in uh, February. Appreciate it, Don. I appreciate it. Yes, and sir. You guys are the goats, man. Man, thank you, brother. Thank you so much. That means the world, too. Uh, we, I ain't, we ain't a vibe for everybody though. <laughs> the conference has been locked. Well, still, when I tell you, we ain't the right, we ain't the right shade. But go ahead, go ahead. You know, everybody got a different kind of tea they like, Wilson. You know, yeah, Yo, yeah, look, yeah. Look, when I different saw that shit on the type of coffee, Wilson. Yeah. When I saw that shit on the X app, I was reading that shit. I was uh, I was out jogging this morning, dog. I saw that shit, dog. It was like. I was like, Cowboys ain't got no content. Bro, I was so shocked. Like, bro, what? We got too many. You say <laughs> Cowboys ain't got no film people? What? <laughs> like, who? Like, who? Who else do you follow? They got all the film people and all the content creators. And look, I started, I started looking at everybody tagging all the people, and he wouldn't say nothing. And then somebody else will say something. He'll go, "Oh, I love the journalists and the radio guys." I say, "I know, what I know what this about. I know what this means." I know it not mean. my vibe. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we see. Look, look. One of them joints. He was like, "Well, I mean, I know these guys exist, but I got standards." I was, <laughs> Damn, <laughs> I'm a little bit too shady <laughs> over there. <laughs> <A> little dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he watched Walking Dead. He hate Negan. You know, there's just a lot of, you know, what I mean, but whatever, dog. We we just gonna we just gonna keep doing our thing. Apparently, the thousand or so people that's watching right now, we are y'all's flavor. Thank you. Thank you. We're, you know, we made the kind of content y'all like, so we we appreciate y'all for tuning in. But uh, I we acknowledge we learned a, a, a great lesson that we're not for everybody. <laughs> well, one last thing, bro. I'm, I'm not harping on this, right? I understand if I'm not everybody's cup of tea, because I understand that. You know, I'm loud. I can be exhausting. I talk fast. I say, you know what I'm saying? I tell jokes. You know what I mean? People, people may want some, you know, more, more serious content. Yeah. So I can understand if I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but ain't none of us your cup of tea. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Man, we know what that is. Hey, yo, Will, mute me though. <laughs> me, me then me we though. gonna move on. <laughs> Go. He muted. Oh, uh, <laughs> go get a bag, get a bag. Wait, I thought. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> One day we gonna we gonna um we gonna charge people to listen to the behind the scenes talk. Uh, Jake the Great, what up? Shout out to Dick. Yo yo yo, Vach, what's happening with you, man? What's good? What's going on? Dog? What's what's good? Player, shout out to you. Life is good. We can't complain about nothing, my dog. Life is good for you, boy. You going, man? You going to Mississippi vacation? Where you coming from back from? Dubai? Uh, hell no! I'm coming back from the couch. <laughs> I ain't been nowhere. <laughs> you was, you was staycation. Because you missing my 
about two weeks. I was on, I was on, I was on Twitch and Patreon. I wasn't, I wasn't far away. I ain't gone on. Um, I've been twitching. You know, I've been, I've been driving, so I ain't got time for you to do the Twitch thing. Yeah, to get to download a whole new app. Yeah, yeah, happy, yeah, I got you. Happy uh, new league year. The off season is uh, long as heck. Appreciate, Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Appreciate you, bro. Both of y'all for uh, guiding us through this uh, dreadful uh, uh, desert. Yes, you know sir. What, I'm what I look forward to, nothing but a Super Bowl, damn it. Man, That's come what on, man. I look man. forward to every year. If we ain't getting no Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm excited. Because you know what I'm saying, I finally done got over my uh my man crush on Zeke. I'm ready to replace him with this uh Hunter Lemke. As soon mm. as he runs somebody over in uh in training camp. Mm. What you like uh, about him? He runs somebody over. What you like about him, Jake? Talk to us about it. what you like about Lipke. Man, what, what what I like about you know I'm from the old school. He reminds me of a uh, Mike Allstott, and I think deep down I want to have a name for him. So when he does score a touchdown, I can be like, mm-hmm. you know, what you like? something like that. You yeah. know how Mike McCarthy do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So right. I'm very excited about the offseason. I, I want to see Damone Clark kick Van Der Ash off the team. All he needs to do is uh get his mind in the in the, in the, in the um uh, uh, yeah. get his mind right. Mm-hmm. We should be good to go though, man. Well, I so, figured, Jay. I have much, you know. I just want to get in there and uh, hit you up before the season starts. You know, I look forward to the verbal Johnson. I might disagree with some with you. I already yeah. disagree with uh, Will Steele. He done got an argument with me already. Oh, yeah. well, let's not call it argument. Call Creative it, discussion. Yeah, let's call it a, a healthy discussion. Yeah. Creative discussion, right. Hey, you know, I'm just playing. Hey, listen, man, <laughs> what advice for y'all watching? When I call, I don't rehearse nothing. I might be on hater mode or I might be all the way 1,000. Mm. With the diehard Cowboy fan. That's why we fool with you, brother. Great choice always. And before I go, condolences to the homie Law Nation. Stay prayed up, my dude. Mm. All right, I'm out. For sure, for sure, for sure. I'm going uh, to check up on Law later. Check up on law later. Now, Will still the one thing that I immediately disagree with Jake the Great about since we're talking about Jake the Great. Hunter Lipke ain't no damn Mike Allstar. No. I was outside for Mike Allstar. Mike Allstar special. Look, if if He's Hunter Lipke, saying. if Mike, if, if Hunter Lipke is Mike Allstar, we wouldn't be having questions about who the damn goal line back gonna be. If Hunter Lipke was Mike Allstar, it'll just be, oh well, you're fucking the goal line back now. You know what I mean? Uh, Lipke is a he's a different type of character. He 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 does have some run power, but he's more of a versatile character. Yeah, he's Allstar more. Was, I forget who it was that called into my show and said the same thing. Might have been Jake, but somebody yeah. else said it, and I'm like, man, he's more Kyle Uzcheck. I mean, sure. the, the all stars of the world are phasing out of this. If not, they're already phased out. This is yeah. more. If if you're going to be fullback in this league, you have to be more Uzcheck than yeah. Mike Allstar now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All stars of the world play like. Like three tech and shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh ain't nobody having, wearing no neck pad. We was having this conversation or whatever. We were watching um um Dez highlights or whatever, twitch.tv slash Vash Lombardi. And somebody asked Vash, why don't we have more types of receivers like Dez Bryant? I was like, Well, because those dudes play pass rusher now, like those size do like like Dez being like six four, two, two twenty nine, two thirty, or whatever, like like those size I mean- dudes. Like them dudes play play other spots. You know? there, there's some physical freaks at the position, but but mm-hmm. can you match the tenacity on the field when the ball comes your way? Nobody did it better than Dez during this time there. Sure, sure, sure. I was sure. Dez was saying, I'm getting that ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't route uh, running that made him special. It wasn't his hands that made him special. It was his pure physical God given uh, gifts and his mentality when he's on that, in between those lines. If it's a dude I wish could get a ring, dog, man, De- 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 yeah. De- Dez was a was a favorite player of mine, dog. Yeah. But anyway, uh, let's get Danny Savage on the phone. What's up, Danny? Good afternoon, Vosh. Good afternoon, Sky. So glad you guys are back. Now, uh, told you guys before, once I started rocking with you, I stopped listening to those stupid stations on TV. Love it. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Absolutely. Appreciate uh, you. Yo, 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 Danny, listen. Um, the, the last call was on the phone, and he said something, and you was on the, you know, you was in the queue, but you was also in the chat. And you was you was calling him a you was calling him a liar. He was like, "Stop!" You know what I mean? Like, like what what did the last call to say that that had you that that had you reacting in the uh, chat box? We both agreed. He uh, he thought Lumpy was Mike Allstar. Who? Poor Mike Allstar can't even talk no more. Yeah, he can't string a sentence. He was a battering ram. Mm. Guys like Mike Allstar, Haywood, Moose Johnson, yeah. they don't make guys like that no more. Like nah. you said. The team's making those guys defensive tackles. Now. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. I just saw you in the chat. Um, I was just like, 
We just comparing him to my. No, man, he's not yeah, a yeah, Michael. Nah, nah. He's not one of those bruisers. No, nah, no. Nah. Two quick questions, please. Uh, everybody thought, everyone thought Diggs was going to get done last. Yeah. He might get franchise. It yeah. was going to drag out. Do you think the Diggs getting done was a message to Zach Martin? Nah, nah. Um, from what I'm hearing, I don't, I don't think the the Zach Martin conversation is like combative or anything like that. You know, it's not a, you know, it's not any, you know, evil shit going on. Yeah, there's no message. They had to, they have to get some of these guys done, right? They have to. I, I don't think they're trying to play. Hey, he signed. Now you better sign. We're trying to, you know, I don't think there needs to be a conspiracy put into that. But I, I get it, Danny. That's kind of your nature. We got a thousand people watching us, Danny Savage. This ain't just regular YouTube no more. This is Vach Lombardi live on the volume. We can't have people saying, well, on Vach's show, they talking about conspiracy. Zach better get this done. You got to be careful, That's man. Just me. No, That's man. just me. That was just me. Another quick question. <laughs> with our speed on defense, yeah. don't you think we can get away with playing two one techs? Can we get a play? You say, can we get away with playing two one techs? Yeah, with with our team speed, which we have a lot of on defense, we have some packages where we where we double up at the nose guys, and we'll move them around. But um, if anything, I want to see with this D line, right? Is can we stop the run and pass rush with four? You know, what I mean, that's that's going to be the yeah. big conversation. Can you put four guys out there, stop the run with those four guys, and maybe like a linebacker and dedicate everybody else to coverage? That's going to be like the thing that we're looking for to you know, kind of evolve us as a defense. And if we can, if we can, as that's that's uh that's gonna be some some top tier shit. It was one of the Cowboys' new analytic people that came in. I don't know their name, pardon me, but they was but they was talking about the idea of the value of the one tech has 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 gone back up or the defense deep, tackle period. Pardon yeah. me, tackle has has gone back up because uh, you know because having dominance there, you can stop the run with less people. So you can add those people to 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 coverage mm -hmm. so you would think that d tackles are less important but if you are really dominant at d tackle um then they can make your defense better as a whole so i just wanted to add that tidbit it was on my mind go on all right all right i'm gonna land the plane also with i think bland is gonna get picked on and he's gonna have about seven to nine interceptions he's gonna step up okay to see I think it. he will step up but he's the third best corner probably on the team right now so teams are gonna try to pick on him and I think it's going to be a mistake. I'd rather you say Deron and, Bland's going to get tried. They're going to try Deron Bland. And yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah. going to yeah. try him. Yeah, they're going to try him. Yeah, they're gonna try him. yeah. find out. Gonna play Look around. Yeah. <laughs> and, I'm gonna, and I'm out. So I downloaded this Twitch thing. I got no idea what I'm looking at. How uh -huh. do I find you and Sky on this? I don't um, know yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just down. You just uh, type in Vash Lombardi. I, I got it. I downloaded it. But where do I find you? Like, you, 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 you go to the search bar. Okay. You type Vash Lombardi and you hit enter, and my page is gonna show up. And you watch Twitch just like you would watch YouTube. When I go live on Twitch, it'll be just like me going live on YouTube. Same thing. And same thing for Skywalker Steel. Put his name in. His well, doesn't exist yet, but yeah, when I'm not does, on there yet. Oh, not sure how I'm gonna do it just quite yet, brother. <laughs> he'll say he oh, writing this down. <laughs> he'll say he writing this yeah, down. I am. I, I was like, oh, I had a flip phone for a few years ago. You know, I'm like, I was like, I was the last person in the world to send a text message. But yo, glad you guys are back. Appreciate and you, man. Look, you know, listen to the show every day as always. Great show. Salute, salute. Good call. Leave the gun, take the colony, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, appreciate you, man. Got my uh, food. <laughs> let me check my Gmail. I always gonna be crazy, bro. Crazy. Let's get uh, let's get Mark on the phone. What up, Mark? Hey, what's up, boss? What's up, Sky? Good afternoon, gentlemen. Yo, yo, what's good, my guy? Everything's hey, everything. Okay, please go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was just saying, what's up? Which thanks, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, but but go ahead though. <laughs> y'all good people, man. I love to talk to y'all. Hey, man. I'm with y'all about the defense, but I'm you know I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little bit hesitant on that because, only because I let me say this before I get to going. Uh, we got a very good defense. We had a, at times a great defense. We've seen that over the last three years. So no arguing about that. But for me, we talking about an elite defense it's got, and it's got a potential to be that. Probably the best defense the Cowboys have had in the last 25 years. Mm -hmm. But for me, if it's going to be an elite defense, the two things I think elite defenses in the league do, even if it's 
even in this wide open passing league that's really about offense. Mm-hmm. Uh, defense one, defense got to get off the field on third down. If you got third and you got anything more than uh, six yards, you got to get a first down. That defense needs to get off the field. Nobody needs to be sustaining drives on you and stuff like that. That's the first thing. Mm-hmm. Second thing is, uh, great defenses, they got to be, you can't beat them up the middle. And we kind of took a step in addressing that to me, of course, with, with Jonathan Hankins and now getting Mozzie up to speed. And them guys are going to be beat because essentially they're going to be your run game. They're going to be your, your run stoppage game, which means like most teams, if they got any kind of sense where they're going to attack, they know they, they know they can't go outside. Mm-hmm. Trey and Jimmy got that. They know they ain't got a whole lot of time be, to be Jimmy down with the football because here comes Michael. Somebody coming off that edge is going to get them. Mm-hmm. And like most people that don't have any sense, I think they're going to test that middle. They're going to test over the middle. They're going to test that five, that eight, ten yard range. Mm-hmm. And that's where the linebackers are at. And anybody that's had an elite defense, they've always had somebody in the middle of the field, mm-hmm. a linebacker there. So we're going to see if somebody can step up. We're hoping it's Demone Clark. We got some guys over there that, that, that you know, at least athletically, we can put them at that level and see, but that's the level people are going to test. That's, that's the soft spot. Ain't nobody got time to be playing. Ain't nobody going outside. You know, Gilly and, Gilly and Trey got that. You can't be taking no seven-step drop because Mike is going to be there at the fifth step. Right. So you ain't got time to be playing. Right. right? So that's what I want to see is if that's what's going to happen. Right. Because the way the league is now, you got that middle sold up with those tackles. They essentially know your run game. You talk about people stopping, people running with just a four-man front. It's really the defensive tackles that are stopping the run. Yeah. So yeah. that's going to open up that middle of the field where the linebacker level is. That's yeah. the only place you're going to go. Again, with us, yeah. with our secondary, you ain't you yeah. ain't got time to go you take it outside. You ain't going out there. Yeah. Our, our secondary yeah. and our pass rush eliminates that. Yeah. So the defense is going to be elite if the linebackers are going to be able to rise to the challenges out there. So. That's what I hope. It, and then congrats to Trey getting his money. Yes, sir. And uh, let's go get this, man. Yep. Y'all keep y'all show going. I'm all right. Appreciate Absolutely. you, Mark. Yeah, you know that was that was something that uh Dan was um working on last year, man. You know, uh, you know when run up the middle, you know, got fixed and runs to the outside got fixed and quick game stuff turned into a thing. You know, Dan had to fix quick game stuff, and Dan ended up you know fixing quick game stuff. But boy, just cornerback two made this difficult. Hey, we got five more people on the phone. I want to get the supers by 435. Okay? I want to get the supers by 435. I don't know how we're going to make this work. Six calls in seven minutes, in eight minutes, but let's boogie. It can be done. Daryl, what's happening? Yes, sir. Uh, boy, uh, yo, Daryl, we, we try about to cut. Hey, come on now. What's good with you, my guy? <laughs> hey, how you doing, Fox? It's been a long time, man. Hey, for y'all since what, February? Uh, yeah, hell, hell, yeah, man. It's, yeah, been, it's yeah. Been, yeah, it's been. I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been down yeah, this cancer yeah. thing, and uh, yeah, hell yeah. going through this other stuff too. Is mm-hmm. on the rotator cuff at work, and man, I'm, I'm I'm going through it. And yeah. hopefully, I see y'all when I come down there in November, right around Veterans Day weekend. Yeah, yeah, I understand, man. They play, the, they play the G girls around that time. Yeah, so hopefully, I'll be able to be up and strapped, ready to go. Okay. But my thing is, like, man. I, I'm glad that they went on here and signed Diggs because that, that was a big signing today. Right. And plus, uh, you know, the next one should be in line should be Zach, man. Zach needs to be paid, man. He's one of the best offensive linemen in the league, man. Yeah. I don't care what nobody say because that man, he played multiple positions and he had a 98% rate as far as, like, pass blocking and whatever. So mm. he deserved to get paid, man. He, he don't need to be getting paid no 8 or $9 million. He should be right up there with the other not off the lineman. You know what you think about that one? Um, I think Zach uh, Zach making like what fourteen will still, and he want to be closer to the top number. Yeah, I think he's 20? he's like he's outside the top five now. So well, like seven. Eight. Yeah. Oh, you say? What you say, Daryl? Well, he was at eight right, from what I saw. Eight million dollars because, like, you know, yeah, eight million dollars. Yeah. Damn boy, eighteen dollars, boy. Boy, Zach Martin <laughs> playing for shit, boy. Zach nah, Martin. Nah, Zach Martin. You know his, man, his contract like, value is not at eight man. million dollars per year. He's in, he's outside the top five, but he's it's not eight million. Well, well, Zach definitely definitely shouldn't be shouldn't be playing for eighteen dollars. So we're gonna get it done. You know, you know whatever whatever it takes to get it done. They'll probably move some things around, and like he they'll got probably paid about fourteen million this year. 
Yeah, for yeah, yeah. So so they'll they'll guarantee some money to them and they'll find a way to make it all work, but it's fine, it'll work. It's all good. Okay. That was because they are because I yeah. that's the glue right there, because we definitely yeah. need him in the special red game in the first game of the season, get some G Men. Mm. So we got we got to go in here and set the tone. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. like, you know, the first four games gonna really dictate how our season's gonna go. Yep. You know. Appreciate you, Daryl. Good call. We are trying to get through these calls. Call back tomorrow, and we can talk about this a little bit more. Appreciate you, man. <clears throat> All right, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Some I will say, will still. People were talking about continuity um, earlier. I think it's going to help that Zach is used to playing with Terrence Steele and Tyler um, Biotis. If anything, the continuity on the left side needs to be a little bit better. But that right side continuity, them them dudes. Yeah. Uh, yeah the, the, Come to Zach Martin. I ain't worried about continuity. <laughs> <laughs> better dudes dog yep, come on man yep. uh let's get through these last three calls pretty quick we're gonna get some supers we're gonna get up out of here two five three what's up six timer uh what's going on box what's up scott what's good with you? Says, <laughs> what <was happening? laughs> says timer is crazy <laughs> what's up my guy who this this is brother l oh, oh shit, bro. Hey, 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 hey look listen you're not on no timer bro <laughs> You're not on no timer. You good, man. Brother L, you breaking out of shell with these calls yeah. now. Yeah, Brother L calling in. What's good with you, my guy? Hey, man, relax, guy. I'm just trying to I'm trying to make sure I spread the wealth around. I called you the other day, and I had to lock in with Vachon Thompson, so we all good. But I'm, I'm, let me go ahead and get out the way with these questions real quick. I just I had, like, two, and then I'm out of the way. Mm-hmm. Cool? Yes, sir. Good. Uh, also, just uh, wanted to say, um, originally I was going to call in, and uh, complain about all this brown and black content that I'm seeing right now on my screen, <laughs> but I figured this probably wasn't the place to call in about that. So nah, we'll just address that another time. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Here. Ain't no problem. Okay, appreciate it. Um, so, what are the top two things you're hoping to see and or confirm at uh, training camp? Hopefully, sponsored by such a beautiful organization as the volume headed by the great Colin Coward. Boy, that'd be great. Um, if if Mozzie is a dude as a pass rusher, boy, that'll just make my day. Cause I feel confident as Mozzie as the uh as the uh, run guy. But if I can get him as a pass rusher, boy, we'll be good to go. And uh if 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 Gallup looks anything close to 2019, 2020 Gallup, then uh, you know, if we can get those two things, oh man, we going to jail, man. We hardly shake around here, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Second thing, Scott, aka the final life in Boston Streets of Rage 3. Uh, we're six days out from the wrestling pod debut. That's just for accountability purposes. Now, now you see brother L trying to see brother brother L trying to up the up the date on yeah, Twitter. Yeah. I said at the end of August, sir. End of August. End. That's almost September. Okay. I just want to see if you paying attention. Yeah, it's easy, it. brother. Uh, he's trying, uh, trying to get that pie now. Every on the gratitude, man. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for the opportunity as well as the communication. So, yes, indeed. Uh, so then, Studio Twenty Thirty Seven, man. Yeah, it's coming, man. One, <laughs> it's coming. Hey, one of these years, it's coming, my man. Hey, brother, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate what you do on Twitch. Appreciate you watching me and Will Steel in the morning. Uh, I've made you platinum. Next time you call in, you ain't got to wait so long. You super. Platinum privilege now, so you so you just go uh all the way to the top, man. Appreciate you, brother. One of the best. All right, I appreciate it. Y'all take care. Hey, man, brother, L hold us down, man. Brother, L watch us all day. So shit, I'm 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 grateful. However, brother, L took a whole bunch of times. So we got to get two calls in in two minutes. So let's see what's happening here. Three one five. What's up? Who it is? Hey, this is Todd. How's it going, guys? What's Thanks good with for, you? Uh, having me on. What's good? With so you? I was wondering how how much do you guys think? uh Brandon Cooks will actually run the ball. I was thinking like some of those kind of gadget plays and take away from Turpin. Oh, hmm. uh, like as a jet sweep guy, Brandon Cooks. I I don't know. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't make Brandon Brandon Cooks much of a jet sweep guy because a part of his um you know part of his thing is what he can do for the overall field, right? So vertically, vertically okay. is you know what I'm saying where I want him to go for it. If we talk about some jet sweep guys, uh, you know Lamb will get his jet sweep stuff. Uh. Tony will probably get some some movement like that. If everybody want to get Turpin moving so bad, then Turpin will be a guy that we could do that. But um, Brandon Cooks, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. okay. And then I was wondering, I never really watched uh, the guy that they compared to Kyle Yusick. Oh, Hunter Lip- Lipke. He, Lipke. You, can you describe a little bit how he plays? Um, Hunter Lipke in the four years of North Dakota um, State, state. Not, not regular North Dakota. Um, 
it seems like there was this one game, I think it was versus Arizona. That's when they realized he can run the ball. So besides that, he'll do some fullback things. Uh, and sometimes he'll do tight end things. Other times they'll line him up at receiver and motion him back to do tight end things some more. He'll do some wing things. Um, but they didn't really hand him the football a whole bunch until they played Arizona and he got like 20 some odd carries or something for 150 yards and a, and a couple touchdowns. So he is a blocker. He is a runner if you hand the ball to him, and he's a receiver. So he's in that Kyle Juszczyk kind of mode where he can do everything and you have to defend him as such. Um, is he exactly Kyle Juszczyk? I'm not, man. You know, Kyle Juszczyk, the best fullback in football. He ain't played it, you know, and he didn't play the, you know, play the rep yet. But that type of dude, just a versatile fullback that can do all things. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you, uh, my guy. All the way up from Syracuse, New York. So thank you. Hey. Jeez. hey. Come on, man. We all over the place. Appreciate you, my guy. One last call. You got to get this call in in 42 seconds. No, I'm playing. What's good with your name? Hey, Vosh. Hey, what's happening, man? <laughs> hey, I just want to shout out to Triggs' camp. I mean, with him leading the league in interceptions the last three years, yeah. and his coverage skills are getting elite, he is definitely a shutdown corner. He could have held out for a lot more money because he's only yeah, in sure. the top six, and he's definitely in the top three corners in the league. So, Shout out to him you for, you, you know, not holding the Cowboys ransom. And uh, let's go. What's yeah. your name, bro? Randy. Randy, this was a uh, this was a fantastic call. And I love it to pieces because this is great for content. Randy, call in tomorrow and I'll let you get a longer call in. My bad, bro. We just had to do some last minute moving, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for the call, Randy. I just made I you hear you, man. Me. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Salute, Randy. Yeah, we'll see. You ever seen... Uh, they were saying, uh, coming to America, they was at the wedding. You know what I'm saying? And the woman in the back, she was like, get out of the way. <laughs> Randy did. Randy started pushing him over the way. Oh, uh, Will, what you think about? <laughs> Shouts out to Randy, man. Let's read these supers. Get up out of here, man. I saw Marcus Hardison floating around somewhere. Yeah, he's here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look, you know Marcus, man. Marcus ain't just going to have one quote for the one day we here. He going to have five for the five days he missed. Uh, but Marcus, just give us one. And we can put the, you know, put the rest in the bag. All right, Randy Watson. Let me hit refresh on that. Here we go. On the volume side, near the 25th. Brother L dropped two, in which it's a five and an actual deuce. Brother L says, happy to have the game back together and dominate. Did he say this? Is that yesterday? Two five. Like yeah, two five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the date, but he said that yesterday or somehow. But all right, brother, that's it. We'll read it again. Um, hashtag studio 2020 something. Uh, but he dropped a deuce today. It says, yo, 1,000 tweets at the volume for Sky for training camp coverage. Yes, yes, yes. They hey, went hard, too. They went hard. Appreciate y'all, man. Hey, and if anybody else wants to, you know, continue that trend, um, uh, go to uh, Twitter or the X app. <laughs> Which sounds crazy, by the way. Uh, and uh, tag the volume at the volume sports and let them know uh, that, that y'all appreciate them, uh, you know, sending uh, Vacha Wills to the Oxnard for uh, train camp coverage. Appreciate you. Brother Duck dropped the five and says, uh, I recommend getting a fatality drop when Sky drops the hammer on people. We need something a little more tailored to Will Steel. You know what I'm saying? We got to get a Jim like, Ross. Yeah, I'm about to say, it'd be like a wrestling type of. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Will still is kicking his ass tonight. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, you know? If we can get oh an Oh, my AI, God, it's broken in half. That's yeah, 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 yeah. He has a family. Uh, <laughs> I love JR, dog. All right. The GOAT. GOAT. And on the Vot side, da, 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 da. gang of supers today, man. Appreciate you Yeah, they rolling, man. They rolling. Yeah. Uh... Randy drive five and said, shit, Randy just called in. Damn. If Diggs leaves the NFL and picks the last three years, what's keeping him from being paid as the number one DB? I expect he could have probably held out and did that, but Mike, you know, Mike on the team, Lamb is here, you know. Jangly Echoes, pause, drive five and says, uh, don't know if you saw Fish's new video. <laughs> you new here? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but Jerry told him Zach is in our plan, so I ain't worried. Oh yeah, we brought that up earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was we on said it on... Yeah, that was yeah. floating around on Twitter. I know that was Fish's video. Yeah, okay, cool. In the plans, appreciate you, uh, appreciate you, uh, uh, Jangly. Um, Sports H Sports HD Drive Five says, "Am I crazy or does it 
Jets? Or do things seem to be running a little smoother contract-wise since Stephen Jones has gotten more involved? Love the content. Appreciate you, Smalls. I will say that... Um, smoother is not the word I would use. Yeah, I wouldn't say smoother. But we've gotten some... some we've done some pretty good things front office-wise the past two years. So, so I will say that, but... They've smoother got a beat, is, off, uh, uh, beat over top of the head since Stephen. But, you know... Yeah. You yeah. know, Steven, Jerry, they, they both have their share of issues contractually. We just got to find a common middle ground. I mean, they just offered Tony Powell $38. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sanjay just dropped uh, two fives, which is a dime altogether. He says, uh, Galmore will beat Chauncey. I bet $100 on it. And then he says, they tried to make him play nose. If he plays three tech, he will beat out Chauncey. I mean, it's not like he didn't play any three tech spots last. Let's, let's not get it twisted now. Sure, you know he was playing three, go pop on the film. He just wasn't good last year. He has yeah. to has to show remarkably uh, remarkable improvement, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, and like we like we're not gonna keep four three techs. You know what I'm saying? You know, it, you know, Mozzie's gonna be doing three tech things. Osa is the three tech, um, and Chauncey is your run game three tech sometimes for for I guy. So. I don't know, man. Neville ain't got no job, so we'll see. Sanjay came and dropped another five. That's 15 all together. Appreciate you, sir. He says, Sleeper Camp is a linebacker edge Tyrus Week from Mississippi State. Uh, he says he's a versatile defender that can uh, stop the run and pass rush and drop in coverage. Y'all check out my uh, last video on Patreon. We watched Tyrus Week and um, Princeton Fant. Appreciate you, sir. Paul Bracamonte dropped five. It says, where are the best days to go to training camp? Last year, I saw a walkthrough. Good luck this year. Vach and Will. Uh, camp starts um tomorrow but you know me and will look at that like a like a media networking day pads come on monday the 31st so go watch and yeah yeah, pads is the best time to go uh if you're going to go at the very end usually that last day is not going to be pads walk through just get walk through stuff Appreciate you, Paul. Uh, Iman all dropped the deuce and says, uh, good to see Will still back in the building. Yes, sir. Black Lion Drive 5 says, uh, con- congrats to Trey Diggs. He's a top two corner, only behind Patrick Sertan. Mozzie. Okay. Uh, Mozzie will be our best defensive tackle since Jay Ratliff. Damon will be the breakout uh, of this year and the best in the linebacker room. Man, Will still, you know how um, people do the we have this many days until football season, and they'll correspond that number of days with a jersey number player, and that that player yes. did a highlight or something. Yes. So on day ninety five, I fucked around, saw a David Irvin highlight, and I got sad as a bitch, dog. He could have been something, bro. Ah, uh, David Irvin. Dog. He was. De- what could Dan Quinn do with damn David? Oh Irvin? my god. Uh, <sighs> it wasn't right, man. It wasn't right, but he was one of the ones from a talent standpoint. Yeah. All right, man. Hi. Appreciate you, man. Um, Jimmy O dropped a deuce and says, thoughts on Beasley signing with the Giants. Beasley who? Yeah, Cole Beasley went to the Giants, yeah. Daniel Jones, the quarterback. And look, man. No, it's good for them. Good for them. They, they got a slot guy. They got a bunch of them. But they got a bunch yeah. of receivers yeah. <laughs> over there. What they gonna do? A bunch of slots. Yeah. A, bu- a bunch of little motherfuckers. Right. Just, come on, man. Yeah. I I ain't feel like look like if we'd have had this conversation at three, I'd have looked it up. But we ain't looking. Um. But yeah, I have no no thoughts on Cole Bees. Deron Blank will be the shot. Cole Bees. I don't mean that. Uh, Jesse Wyatt Drive Five says, I remember when everybody was going crazy over losing Gregory. Brandon Gregory be nice though. But I feel you. Uh, and Jerry said Armstrong can feel that void. Boy, was he right. All right. Uh, money and headache was saved. Well, to be fair, you know, Gregory, <laughs> even though he's gotten out of trouble, he still can't stay on the field. So, yeah, a lot uh, of that's people the- panicked over Gregory and uh, yeah. was it Collins? Mm-hmm. I never really cared because I think you had the in house replacements. It was yeah. always for me, uh, Mari. Yeah, yeah, Cooper's yeah. back. Yeah, Re- find a way to replace it, and they didn't. You you had Steele, you had Armstrong. That was an easy, I don't should say easy, but not a difficult decision if they wanted to move on. Amari was the one that was really your attention should have been taken to. Right. Marcus Road Drive 5, it says, elite defenses get off the field even when, even win a game if they have to. Uh, them boys want to be great, then that's the next step. Love and peace, Bach and Sky. Appreciate you, sir. Thanks for being here. 
uh, Dallas Cowboys for life. Texas drop five. It says Dallas Cowboys for life. Let's freaking go. Mm-hmm. Number six. Let's freaking go. Appreciate you. Get her done. Gaming dropped a deuce, a deuce, a deuce. That's six. And then five. That's 11. So that's four different uh, super chat. You say, uh, will a round table, will we get a round table before the season starts? We'll see what's cracking with law. We'll see what's happening. We'll see what's happening with law. We're going to, we won't be, you know. Um, would you draft Jake Ferguson in fantasy football? No. Ferguson's a, a, he's a good cowboy player. I wouldn't call him like a fantasy guy. Um, and then he says, uh, Dallas is winning the sixth Super Bowl, I believe. I agree. Then he says, uh, what would make this season a success for you guys? Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. What would make this season a, a success for you guys? For me, it's Super Bowl. We agree. Uh, Vach and Steel, will Roman Reigns retain his title? How many interceptions will Dallas get? <laughs> Not on no shit about Roman Reigns in them. Yes, uh, Roman, Okay, cool. What about, what about Dak's interception number? Uh, less than 10, he say. <laughs> I think he'll have 10. less than 15. If he does have 15, I think it'll come with a whole lot of touchdowns. Well, Will, he he doesn't say Dak's intercept. He said, how many interceptions will Dallas get? So Oh, DBs? my bad. My bad. I thought he said Dak's interception. That's what I thought, too. So DBs, I mean. Oh, I shit. Know. I mean, I don't even know how many they had collectively last year. Yeah, no clue. I think no it'll clue. be a top five. I'll go five. Top five team. Yeah, Cowboys been number one in takeaways, right? Yeah, like, like, like yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll be up there. Uh, Jr. What up, Jr. Dropped the dub. It says Vaj. Wow, Scott. That's probably oh how he said. guy in a minute. God, what's good, baby? <laughs> it's like I'm two blue skittles in. Appreciate you. Uh, appreciate Jr. That's exactly how he will say it. Appreciate you being home, man. Glad you're safe, man. Glad you're at home and all that and all that. Is that all? Appreciate you on there. And that should be all on the volume side. Marcus Hardison. What you got for us, brother? What you got for us? Now, I know he... Uh, here we go. Uh, we ain't done this in a minute. <laughs> we ain't done this in a minute, Will Still. Here we go. Here we go. Ah. Chat. Wave your, your uh, thingamajigs. Your little, um, your, your little orchestra sticks. Double pause if y'all need to. Here we go. Marcus Hardison says, at the volume, that's that's me and Will still, by the way. At the volume, trees don't hang around with the grass, even though they come from the same ground. Come on, Will still. Will still, come on. Okay, okay, look, look, look. Trees don't hang around with the grass even though they come from the same ground come on will still hit, hit the mm, hit mm. Oh, no 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 you don't hit it there you got to oh, hold on, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay okay build strong branches while remaining That's mm. when you hit them mm. i'm sorry my bad let's, let's run all this shit back hold yeah. on let's run, hold on let's run all this shit back that motherfucker said trees don't hang around the grass even though they come from the same ground Build strong branches while remaining grounded. Mm. Damn me. Mm. He almost hit the other. I, I just, <laughs> he hit that other mother. <laughs> Build strong, man. young pimp, young go. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, Marcus. <laughs> My bad. Let, let me talk to you. We'll still say it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Appreciate y'all for being here, man. Love y'all to pieces. Thank you, Marcus Harris, for another inspirational quote. It's facts. Um, you must evolve your surroundings if you're going to evolve as a person, okay? I see some people calling in now. My bad, y'all. We're, we've gotten to the end of this episode, but please call us back tomorrow because we would love to talk to y'all. We ain't talk to y'all in a minute. Um, tap in with us tomorrow. We're going to be live at the same time tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to listen to this press conference and see if I can take anything from it. We're content kings. We're, 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 we're bound to take something from it, but we should be getting training camp updates by tomorrow also. So we're going to weigh uh, what's important in that tomorrow. If we get some dope some dope updates and 
uh, that press conference don't matter, then like, we'll talk about the press conference in three weeks when we ain't got nothing else to talk about. All right. Um, follow me on all my social medias, Vash Lombardi, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. Don't forget to let the volume know that y'all are grateful uh, that Vash will still get to, uh, uh, you know, cover training camp on the behalf of the volume. Y'all follow Skywalker still on all of his platforms, Skywalker, S-T-E-E-L-E, and A to Z Dallas in the morning, 8.30 to 10.30. Uh, y'all enjoy the rest of your day, man. Y'all hold down for the Doski Walsh and Peace Whiskey. Till next time, boy. Marcus said he got three weeks worth of gems loaded in the cyber clip. Who would like to hear? Marcus Harden, the way you like it. Red fish, blue fish, you know? <laughs>